it will come back. Amen. It will. You reap what you sow in Galatians 6, 7. Christians around the world need to allow the Holy Spirit and the Word of God to reveal to them individually how they have allowed their eyes to be diverted from their real pur purpose in life. Let me read this again. Christians around the world need to allow the Holy Spirit and the Word of God to reveal to them individually how they have allowed their eyes to be diverted from their real purpose in life. We all need to stand in God's presence and say, I want to work the works of God. What do I lack? Show me how to become part of God's army. So we need to stand in God's prison and ask the Lord and tell the Lord, Lord, I want to surrender my whole life to you. I want to be all that you would have me to be. Lord, I want to surrender my eyes to you that I do not look at things that I'm not supposed to look at. I want to surrender my uh, uh, mouth to you so that I do not speak unkind things and say uh, things that are not kind about others. Lord, I want to surrender my hands to you so they can be used for the glory of God. Lord, I want to Surrender my feet and my legs, my yes, Lord, to yes, you, so that I can walk and tell others about the love of God. Many times we are willing to be used of God, but are we willing to count the cost and pay the price? You know, there are some people that are jealous of others, but they're not for no reason. Yes, you're right. They don't even know the person that well. But maybe the way the person look or the person talk or the way they do their hair or, or, or maybe the things that God has blessed them with, they're jealous. But are we willing to pay the price? Are we willing to surrender our all to the Lord? Peter and Paul said, Peter and Paul paid the price required for the power of God to make be manifest in their lives. Their bodies became living sacrifices unto God, and they set a great example for us to follow. Since God is no respecter of person, in Acts 10, 34, the same power and anointing that rested on Peter and Paul is available to you today. Amen. But you too must be willing to count the cost and pay the price. That's right. That's right. Praise God. So we must be willing. Will you stand, please? Count the cost. Pay the price. Praise Hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. God is looking for people that are willing to count the cost and, 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 and pay the price. God is looking for people that are will not give up easily. They won't give up easily. They won't give up quickly. They won't turn their back on God. Because see, the Lord said he'd never leave you or forsake you. He's always with you. Sometimes we're going through a testing time in our lives when we do not know what the next moment is going to bring. Amen. We don't know how we're going to pay our bills. We don't know how we're going to put food on the table. Amen. We don't know how we're going to clothe our, clothe our children. We don't know how. But we walk, in 2 Corinthians 5, 7, it said we walk by faith and not by sight. Amen. In Hebrews 11, 6, it says those that come to God must come to him. And, and he's a rewarder of those that diligently seek him. So we must come to God realizing that he's always there. He said he'd never leave us or forsake us. He'd always be with us. But he's there, my friend. You cannot walk by feelings or you got to walk by faith. You cannot walk by what you see or what you don't see. You got to walk by faith. It's a faith walk, my brothers and sisters. That's what God is calling us for. We do not have to render our 
surrender our lives to, to, uh, to the things of this world. We don't have to worry about the economy. We don't have to worry about that. God is over the economy. He owns everything. So why are we worried? Why are we frustrated? Why are we, uh, uh, it's nothing wrong with being concerned, but to worry? Worry is sin. When we worry, that means that we're not trusting God. So if you would like to, God, to surrender your whole life to the Lord and to the call of God that he has for you, I would like for you to come forward. your life. 